What's up everyone? We are back here on North March. As you guys can see, I did get done bailing bailing the field, so we are going to go ahead and we're going to release the baler. Um I don't really need that anymore. We're going to go over and pick up our bailing trailer, which is someplace I don't remember where I left it to be honest. It's actually right there at the at the farm, so we'll go I'm just going to reset that, and then I'm going to, oops, that did not reset, oh, it did reset, okay, let me, oh, shit, let me reset my tractor, alright, so last time we were on here, I, t I was talking about maybe, um, doing some cows, I've been thinking long and hard, and as much as I want to, I'm just, I'm not sure if we're ready, to be honest. Like, if we look at the equipment that we own, we don't really own a whole lot. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the uh, straw bales this episode, and... Um, we're just gonna, we'll see what happens. I, oh crap. We'll see what we get for straw bales first of all, and then we'll go, we'll go to the farm and we'll, we'll see. I, I'm, I'm torn between having cows and not having cows. Just because cows require so much upkeep and I'm just, I'm not sure if I can provide that upkeep at the moment. Um, you know, I, I can buy bales if I really need to, I just, I mean, we, we have $272,000, I, there's just other equipment that we need, and I don't really have a place to store TMR at the moment, so, we'll see. Um, I also had to pause my production on, uh, Court Farm, um, because there is an issue with my maps where, oh my god, get on the, the baler, the bale trailer. There's an issue with my maps where the maps don't load, or they, they load, but then they say test on me. Um, I've put in a message to Giants to see if we can... If anyone else has had that issue um, and see if they can figure it out. Some people said that it was the last update that they did or it could be a mod or a, a mod that's causing the problem. So <clears throat> that one for right now is on hold. So we'll be we'll be doing this uh, this map this week and I'm hopefully next week uh, I will get back to doing court court farms ag again. You know, I would. I really want to. Like, I really, really want to do it. I wanna. That's a, that's a great map. And then we're gonna be doing uh, Bucks County, PA. And that one's gonna be a start from scratch map because that map is amazing. If you guys haven't checked out TNT modding, definitely go check them out. Check out all the great map map makers, though. If I'm being perfectly honest, like there are so many good ones out there. Action, David. He's fucking amazing. Um, so many good ones. So, we're gonna have lots of straw bales. We're not even gonna be able to keep all the straw. So, we'll make a little extra money off of these. Pie won't make much. And hear the ducks swimming in the, in the pond over here. So it is harvesting season. Um, we do have, let's see here. We have a couple bailing contracts. We could maybe start doing cows with the bailing contracts. Um, I had some harvesting contracts, but they are gone. So we have, let's see. This one's for hay, that's for hay. 
That's for silage, hay, silage, and hay. So we got mostly hay contracts and a couple of silage contracts. So, I mean, it's a, it's a possibility that we could do cows maybe this episode. Um, or, I mean, I guess too, like if you if you think about it, I technically don't need to buy the equipment. I could just lease it and be done with it. I mean, if anything, I can take out a loan, and I'm pretty sure I can take out up to $500,000, which the equipment for the cows wouldn't really cost that much. I mean, for the feed mixers, if I do it, if I do it loosely, yes, it might, it might cost that much because the big machines are more expensive than the ones you pull behind the tractor, but I personally don't like those. But we'll take these back to the farm, and uh, I'll see you guys back here in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. So as you can see, I did collect the rest of the bales off the off the free fields here. We still have two more to go and get yet, but we have quite a bit of uh, bales already saved up at the farm that I transported last time. Um, I, I did, so let's have a look at cow stuff. So in order for me to do cows, right? Okay. So let's just say I got 20 cows. What would I need? Well, first of all, we need stuff for hay. We need hay. We need silage bales. Those are pretty easy to get. Um, and then we need a, you know, bale trailer to haul them. Um, we would also need some type of either front loader or does this yeah that can't attach a front loader to it so we would need a front loader telehander wheel loader wheel loader uh, or a front loader so and then we would need we would need a forge wagon water tanker or and milk tanker and then straw blower now, as you guys can see here, like, for instance, this straw blower, let's just say I get this one. Uh, actually, I can't get that one because that one's only attached to a wheel loader. So let's just say I get, let's see, All right. I use this one. I can use this one, though. So this one, you can have two bales, it's 37,000. Okay, great. And then that, or we can do... What's the difference in these two? Looks like this one might be a little bit bigger. But that also says two bales. I'm not sure what the differences are than the size. Okay, so let's just say this one. The, uh, the pre Premier 1570M. Uh, 36,500. Okay, great. And then we get a forge wagon, 60,000. So we're up to uh, 60, 70, 80, 90. Uh, let's just say 90,000. And then we could get a, let's see, we could get a tanker for milk or water or both or one of each, whatever I choose. Okay, so that's 15,000. Let's just say we get that. That's, you know, a hundred and... 10,000 if I did the math correctly and then we would need and then that would be it so 100 so let's just say 110,000 that's not that's not counting the silage bales and the grass bales I'd have to buy because I don't have any at the moment um now could I get some from contracts sure um looking at what we have now though I think it's a little too early to start doing cows just a little bit I think right now my best course of action is to sell the straw bales at least keep one stack I don't even need more than one stack because I don't know how often we're even gonna use straw and straw is cheaper than grass and hay so or silage I should say not grass well same thing um 
so as much as I would love to get cows going right now, I just, I don't, I don't know if we have the money for it. Now, I also didn't sell the two fields yet because I did say, oops, I need to turn over here. I did say I was debating on selling those the, these two fields as soon as my game gets done saving. And the reason why is because I don't want to have to go all the way out here just to get two more fields. I really don't. Um, I thought about selling the free that I have up by the farm, but that's, if you think about it, they're, it's, they're actually not that far away. Like, I'm fine with the free fields that I have going um, to the farm. It's the two further away that I don't really want to keep track of, I guess you could say. I think I turned a bit too early. Yes, I did. Okay, so we need to go up here. And I need to go around the corner. Because I turned... Actually, we cannot get through there. So yeah, I did, I did turn a little early. Um... So we'll see how much those fields sell for, and I'll see if I can flip them and, you know, make a profit. And then, two, we have all that oat that we can sell. The problem right now is that oat's not selling for a whole lot. Why? Why am I lost here? What the fuck? I should not be lost. This is my farm. Can I get... I think I can get in up here. Nope, I cannot. You would think as many times as I've been to my own farm, I should know better. You would think, but apparently not. So if we look right now... Uh, we have 155,000 liters of oats. Oats right now, the highest that they're selling for is 816. And we can get a couple hundred more dollars. So I think we're better off waiting to sell the oats until January. You know, right now it's July 1st. That gives us a couple more months. Maybe we'll get some more harvesting contracts and beforehand uh, maybe we can you know get some more you know some some more um, produce so I'll put these here I'm just gonna put those there for now and then we're going to go to the two fields that I still need to pick up yet Before I sell them. Once I sell them, maybe may, maybe then I'll think about doing cows. But we'll see how much they sell for. They're small fields. I mean, sure, I could sell the oats now. Take a loss. <clears throat> and then, you know, use that money for, for cows. And maybe I will do that, but... I want to see if I can flip these fields for a little bit of an extra price. And if they go for a lot more, then great. You know, so be it. But... Um, and then we have chickens too. And unfortunately, I don't really see a need for chickens at the moment. Because, yes, they're easy to take care of. And yes, they do make some money, but they don't make a lot. I mean, the amount of eggs you have to sell to make a ton of money is ridiculous. All right.
So once I pick up the bales off of these two fields, we'll sell them, sell the fields, and then see how much money I get for them. I don't think I'm going to get that much, to be honest. Because I didn't, I didn't really even have that many bales off of these two fields. Because like I said, they're pretty small. The only one I really got a shit ton off of, which which was 73. And that was because that was the biggest field that I have. I am going the wrong way. Just gonna cut through this guy's field. Oh shit. I know I had some harvesting contracts earlier, but they disappeared. I don't know if they'll come back tomorrow or if they're done for good because I was really hoping for some harvesting contracts. Bailing contracts are nice too, because again, we can use some of that for cows. Uh, we don't really need a lot here, because we're gonna, we're only gonna use, you know, we're only gonna get maybe twenty cows, and I'll pay the transportation fee, and I'll have them delivered, so I don't have to go get them, uh, because then I would need a, I would need a, preferably a semi. All right, so I got those off the field. So let's see. Okay, so field 21, I can sell that for 65 grand, almost 66 grand. And then 39, I can sell for 82,000. So those actually were more than I thought. And now I have 425,000. So we could we we most definitely can do cows now because I do have more than enough money to buy the equipment that I need and we don't need to get a lot. I know I was I was thinking about it. I'm like, do I really want to do this? Because if I do it too early, you know, I'm gonna take a loss on a couple things and what if they die? What if this, what if that? So I think what we're gonna do I'll look and see if they have a trailer that I can pull on the back of my tractor um but and I think they do if I remember correctly <clears throat> So we'll get to the farm and we'll look at the store and see what they got. And then I'll rent the equipment and uh, we'll start cows today then. I was, you know, thinking about should I just use that money and buy more fields. But I think with the fields that we have now, we're fine for right now. And like I said, we're not going to keep all the straw because there's really no need for all this straw. I, 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 I'll keep some of it, but I'm not keeping all of it. I'm actually going to put this st straw. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to put the straw right in here. Actually, oh no, we do have silage bales. And okay, we do have bales. I didn't think we did. So we can start cows. That's right. I totally forgot those were here. All right. I 
I am a jackass. I don't know what I was thinking. So for right now, that's right. I did get grass. Uh, silage and hay. So let's go to the store. Um, let's see. We need animal transportation, first of all. So for a tractor... Oh, not that. What is it under animals? Animal transport. Okay. So... None of those, see they all require semis. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're just going to go buy them and I'll have them transport here for a fee. Alright, so we're gonna get Holsteins, we're gonna get the ones that are 18 months old because they can start reproducing. They're 1,650 per cow. So we're going to get, let's see, we can hold 20 cows or 80 cows. We're going to get 20. So that's $33,000. And I'll get a $2,000 docking fee, but that's whatever. All right. So we got them. So if we look here under animals, you see that they need straw and they need TMR, or I could just feed them hay for 80% grass for 40 silage for 20 but we'll just make TMR now the way I make my TMR is I do 50 50 silage 50% hay um, so what we need now because we have $392,000 left over we're going to get a mixing wagon I'm gonna get let's see how big are those doors my problem is if I get a mixing wagon, sometimes they don't always work like, like they don't always fit the way they're supposed to. Well, they should fit, I think. I think they'll, I think they'll fit through those doors. Okay, so let's get. Let me see. We'll get this guy. It'll hold 30 liters. It should be fine. Um, we be, we'll be able to transport that. We'll buy that for 76000 And then we are going to need a straw blower. I'll get this one for 36000 All right, so I'm gonna go pick up the uh, the machinery, and I'll see you guys back here. And oh shit, we also need to rent a telehandler. Uh, I'm gonna rent a wheel loader just because I like wheel loaders better than telehandlers. Because a lot of telehandlers, if you pick up more than one bale, it's kind of kind of tricky. So we're gonna rent the cloths. And then we just need to get a bail spike. Alright guys, I will bring the stuff back to the farm and I'll be right back. Alright guys, <clears throat> we are back. Don't mind how squeaky my voice just got right there. I am super tired. Uh, but we are back. Um, I am en route with the last piece of equipment. Um, we got a wheel loader with a bale fork. And we got the straw blower. Oh shit. Already at the farm. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to do the straw blower first. Get the... Because... Cows have enough 
grass right now where they can graze. They're not grazing for some odd reason, but as time passes, if I don't give them food, they will. Um, I think because I have it on times one right now, they're not going to graze. But they should be grazing because um, I do... I do have that mod on and actually let me turn up the time and see if that makes a difference because they have grass so they should be should be grazing but they're not that's weird okay I'm not going to turn the time back down I'll do times five just in case um, but there's, I have a mod, the animal grazing mod, where if you don't put the stuff in the pen, they should be eating grass off, you know, off of the field. But because that's an indoor pasture with a outdoor field, they may not. That might be the issue that we're having. But either way, we'll give them some food. Um, but we'll see how much straw they take. I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna sell most of the straw that we have after I um, put enough sh straw in their bed for right now, and then after that, I'll, I'll keep some of it. I'm not gonna keep all of it. Actually, I'll probably sell most of it because I can, like I said, straw is pretty cheap. I can just buy that easily. And we have enough straw there where I think I can probably find a place to, uh, oh shit, I was supposed to go back, turn back there. Um, well, we have enough straw to where I think we'll be okay. I, I, like I said, I can keep some of it if I really need to. Um, we have a shit ton of straw, so we'll be fine there. Yeah, see, animals are not grazing. They should be. I have the mod on, but maybe because, like I said, maybe because this is a, up, like, it's not, I don't know how to put this, like, it's kind of artificial in a way, perhaps, maybe that's why, but, all right. My farm is kind of fucked at the moment. Everything's all cluster fucked together. But that will change here in a minute. See, it looks like they're eating, but it's not showing there. It's not showing that there's anything in their food. But we will fix that in just a minute. So we're going to unfold this. I'm going to put this down we're gonna pull this up just a little bit I'm gonna switch over to the telehandler I'm gonna try and put this in here. I might be better on just lifting it up because I think these I can lift. Yeah, I can just lift these up. So if this is too hard for me to put in, I can just lift and throw it in there. Which is what I what I might do actually. Okay, that worked. Yeah, I think I'm just going to lift lift those up. Apparently I can't lift that one. Okay, let's push this back. We're 
we're going to close this. And then I need to figure out the straw is blowing from that way. I may let me go in and see if I can. I may need to go on oh, from the other way. This is not going to work. Oh, oh, it is. Um. Yeah, let me try going in from this way and see if that makes a difference. Because I don't think there's an area over here for straw. I'm pretty sure it's got to be inside. Yep, here we go. Okay, so let's blow the straw in and see how much they actually take. Remember, with the with the cow pens, it's about how big they are, not how many cows you have in the pen. Um like it used to be on 19. So they may take one and two bales or they may not. And it looks like they're going to take a lot more than two bales from the looks of it. So that's one bale gone. Okay, so that was only one bale and they took that filled about half. So two bales is probably what they'll take for the bedding and again once once the bed you know wears off then they I believe then they start producing slurry I would like them pr to produce manure because it used to be where cows could produce manure if you gave them straw or didn't give them straw on, in 19 but unfortunately in 22 I believe they only produce slurry at least from what I've experienced so far. I haven't done a lot with cows um, in 22 yet, so this is kind of a test run for me. Um, I used to have a lot of fun with it on 19. I know pigs do produce manure, um, but I, I think it's pigs only produce manure and cows only produce slurry, but I could be wrong. Okay, so after this, they will be completely done for bedding. So yeah, they're not even taking. Yeah, they didn't, they only took two bales. Two bales, and it's almost full. So we have a lot of straw that we can sell. Um, I'm actually gonna go do that right now. We're gonna go find the best place to sell straw um, because I would like to get that out of my farm. I'm going to keep, I'll, actually I'm probably not going to keep any of this to be honest. I'll just sell it all. I might keep one or two depending on how much we have left over after the first load is done. So what is the price of straw going for right now? I know it doesn't really sell for a whole lot so... $61 per, 
per 1,000 liters. All right. Thirty six thousand, where is thirty six thousand coming from? Oh, it's counting the animal pen as a as a trigger, okay. As a silo. I was like, where the hell do we have thirty six thousand liters of straw? Cause I don't I know for a fact I don't have a multi food silo. Alright, so let's fill this up. Alright, so we need to take this to the animal dealer, which is located. Uh, I'm trying to see where it's actually located because I don't know. Right there, okay, so it's located way down there. Alright, so we got 24 bales that we're taking there right now, and then... I'll probably sell the rest of them, to be honest. I also need to repair and get some gas because this tractor is getting pretty damaged, pretty beaten. You know, it's done. It's my only tractor, so it's pretty much the working horse of my of all of my farm. It does everything for me. You know, it pulls the bales, pulls the trailers, it cultivates, plows, seeds, all that fun stuff. So again, like I said, straw doesn't sell for a whole lot. Even if I were to leave straw and store it till it sells at its most, it's only gonna top top all at eighty eight dollars. That's that's it. So we're better off just selling it and leaving it at that. All right, animal dealer is right up here. Alright, so we got roughly like 26,000 I want to say for 20, was it 21 bales? So that's not too bad. I mean, especially for straw. Um, we'll go back to the farm, we'll grab the rest of the straw and then I'll sell that. Because I don't think cows are going to go through 36,000 liters or 35,000 liters in a short amount of time. I think it's going to take a while. And by that time, I'll probably have more straw, so. Let's see, how much money did we actually make off of that? Uh, sold bales, yeah, $26,832. We're still negative 75 grand, but... Like I said, I think we'll be fine. I'm not going to go through, you know, $300,000 because, or 310000 I'm assuming is what the next little bit's going to be for when I sell it. 
Um, but we're not going to go through that in a, in a matter of minutes. I mean, I have bailing contracts I can do, so we'll be fine. The one thing I really do want to do is I want to own the BGA because that would help so much. And how much is the BGA while we're while I'm thinking about it? Let's go here. Since we're right over this way. Ugh, I'm one million one hundred and eighty, so it's gonna take a little bit before I can buy the BGA and use the digestate. Um, because like I can't really sell anything to the BGA right now because I don't own it because it's it's a production so you have to own the production in order for year in order for you to use it like yeah I can take contracts there and stuff but I can't I can't use it per se until I buy the production building So how much straw am I going to have left here? That's the question. Oh shit. Okay, so I'm going to have a couple bales left. Oh god, we're stuck. I'm going to keep those bales. We're not going to... Four bales, I might as well just keep those. We're not going to sell those. We'll have four left. I'll, I'll tidy them up and we'll take care of those really quick. All right, you're gonna go over here. Oops. Apparently you cannot run with the bales. I'm gonna put you back here. I'm gonna stack these nice and neat. At least as neat as I can. God damn it, I keep on trying to run. We'll just put those in there. They don't have to be nice and neat because they're going to get used anyway. So we'll have enough for a couple, probably the rest of the year to be honest. So there they are, there and there. We're going to take this again back to the uh, animal dealer. Let me just mark, mark that. Are these cows grazing at all? They are not. Fuck. So apparently, I'm just assuming with this pen that they can't graze. That's the only thing I can think of. Because I have the grazing mod on. So maybe because it's like an artificial gla glass. Okay, yeah. Artificial grass. Maybe they can't graze and they can only graze in actual pens. Not like, uh, like pens out in a pasture. Because it's not really a pasture at all. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Like, the words are coming to my... Like, I know what I'm trying to say, but I can't find the words to <laughs> describe what I'm trying to say.
All right. Let's drop these off. All right, twenty-six thousand eight hundred fifty-eight dollars again. So up to three hundred twenty-five thousand. Um, I am going to return this baler for right now. If I need it, I can just buy it back later, or rent it back. I mean, bale loaders are not that not that expensive. So we're gonna go back to the farm, and we're going to feed them TMR. We'll make it, and then feed it to them. I'm not sure how much TMR they're gonna take. If they took thirty-six thousand liters of straw. Then they'll probably probably take more. What the hell was that beeping sound? You guys hear that? Or am I just going insane? And then the next episode, we'll get the fields ready for the next uh, uh, sowing, which won't, which will probably be. I'm gonna have to look at crop rotation because I did oats last time. Well, I didn't really have a choice, so I could do barley, or I could do canola, barley, or wheat. So if we look at crop rotation, oats. If I do canola, nope, I'd have to do wheat or barley. I wouldn't get a good yield for canola. So I think we'll do wheat and then we'll start chickens. Wheat or barley, either one. Because um, chickens like, like wheat, barley, and sorghum. So I'm, I'm thinking we can start chickens get after the next uh, harvest because we'll have wheat. You know, I might as well do them, like I said... They don't, they're very easy to take care of. All they need is wheat, barley, or sorghum. And I believe that pen can hold 80 chickens. Which isn't a lot, but if we let the egg stack up over time, um, we should be fine. All right, so we move this right here. We're going to get into the front loader, and I'm going to see if they're grazing. Yeah, they're still not grazing, so something's definitely up with that. Like I said, I think it's because of the pen that they're in that they can't graze. So we'll put two silage bales in, two hay bales in, and see how full we get after that. These can tip just about as easy as a telehandler can, so I gotta be very careful when turning with the bucket that high. The hell is that beeping sound? All right. Um. Let's see. When I switch vehicles, it's weird. It's gotta be this tractor. Okay. So yeah, two bales of each is going to be what it's gonna take. 
And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, I mean, if you fuck up and you actually put one bale of each in there, or not one of each, but like, say, one, one hay and two silage, it's not going to fuck anything up, so don't worry about that. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely definitely this tractor. And I think it's because my fuel gauge is so low. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to tip to the left. We'll see how much they take. You guys can see the silage right there going in. So they took, or TMR, so they took a total of 29,000. So we'll do another batch and then we might have a little bit left over after that because that took up about 50%. Yeah, that's my fuel gauge. Oh shit. What is this? Is this pigs? Yeah, this is pigs. Okay, so this one can hold 108 pigs. Where are the chickens? Because I'm curious to see how much they hold. Because I know I looked, but I don't remember. Oh, 360, so it's a lot more, so, well, we'll, we'll have plenty of chickens. I need to get this. Need to refill. I think that's the issue. So we'll go over here, refuel, and then I should repair this as well, but we'll be fine. Ah, shit. 37 grand, holy shit. And do I have a workstation anywhere? I do not. Well, we'll take it back to the shop eventually and then I'll repair it. Yeah, see, that's because my gas was getting low. That's what that beeping noise was. I was like, what the hell? Alright, so we'll put two more bales of hay and two silage in here. Actually, we're gonna... bale's too heavy. Shit. Alright, never mind.
Oh shit, that didn't work out as I planned. There we go. Alright. So now we just need two silage bales and then we'll be good to go. They might they might not use all the TMR but All right, so that is done. We'll park this uh, wheel loader in here for right now. I am leasing it, but we'll be fine. And obviously, if I was doing this loose, I would want to mix it up, but we can actually turn that off because we don't need it mixed up. <clears throat> because once you put hay bales in there and then silage bales in there, it turns into TMR. See, the cows are eating right now. They were hungry. Look at them. Ain't they cute? All right, so they they did take all of it. Uh, let's see how much space they have. Okay, so until they took fifty six thousand liters, um, their health will get better over time. Their production, but their pro pro productivity will go up. The milk will go up. The slayer will go up. Again, that's all over time. Um, so there's really nothing more that we really need to do with them right now. Before we get out and we look over here, like like I said, over time they'll they will uh, they'll do their thing. I wish you could use the feeding wagons because you. It, some pens have feeding wagons, and this one does not appear to have. I don't know what these are, but they're not feeding wagons. So if we look here, we have 20 cows. The health is 10%, but like I said, that will go up. Food, 56,000 off, 60,000 liters. Milk, they've already produced four liters of milk. Um, straw, 35 out of 38. Slurry 69 out of 100,000. So, like I said, all this will go up over time, and then, uh, you know, get out of here, Bambi. And uh, they'll produce more more cows as time goes on. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll get the fields ready for the next, uh, next harvest. Um, I can't plant anything in the fields until September so 
the next time you guys see me will be in September. I will be doing more contracts for bailing. Um, but I'll do those off video. And uh, yeah, if you guys like today's episode, please give it a like, a share, and I will see you guys next time.